So hey guys, this is Prabhat and guys in this video, I'm going to show you about my this video because it has got uh, so many views. So, so many people who are asking that how did you make this kind of video and they want to learn it too. So guys in this video, I'm going to show you how we made that kind of video. And before watching this video, make sure to click on the subscribe button, like button and just don't forget to share with those people who don't we do want to edit and make this kind of video so before making this video make sure you have a good camera with a prime lens because prime lens give you the quality which requires to make this kind of video make sure it have blur effect nowadays a phone also give you blur effect in the video so if you have one of that then this is good thing and if you don't have camera then uh, you can also uh, shoot with your phone but just make sure you have gimbal because gimbal give you some smooth footage which give you more cinematic view so make sure you do have that in the beginning and one thing more you need to have which you need to have a good footage a good pc nowadays people added a lot of videos from phone but this tutorial is all about premiere pro because i most of the time edit from my pc so this video tutorial is all about pc so that how you can edit this in premiere pro to give more cinematic views so let's go in the video so i'm going to take you in my pc where i edit most of the video so guys as you can see i really do use a lot of software for example you can see this creator creator uh bridge bridge is also an editing software quixel mixer which helps to generate the texture of the elements and there are so lot of things because i'm a graphic designer and that kind of person who added and uh, make a lot of visual stuff so the thing is that first you need to make sure you have pre-installed premiere pro because once you install it you can create your own video so if you don't have installed you can just buy on the adobe site and you can just download or purchase it if you don't have because adobe premiere is the best software for editing a lot of videos and actually i do work a lot of premiere pro that's why i bought it even though there are a lot of free software out there but if you want to purchase their premium service you need to pay them for a lot so if you have if you use photoshop or if you use adobe after effect then this is a good choice to buy their wall pack okay so first we need to do is a create new project and you can just rename anything for example i'm creating a new video of andrew Dew because i have footage of this and i am going to use it in this video so as you know guys we have already a viral video which already working good and you can also make of your own because if you're shooting for yourself you can shoot your video and just upload it where you want so guys i have also uploaded uh, uploaded of Android Duo and because we work with them so we have all the footage of his so for example we need a song so what we can do is there are a lot of song out there on the internet but still I do have a song where we need to drag and drop okay for example you can think Netflix also give free copyright free songs which we don't need to do anything and we don't get any copyright claims so if you want to use that you can go on and cs is also kind of a uh, youtube channel where you get uh, audio for free where you don't have to pay for their licenses so this is the great thing about them and i think you can choose any video you want and magic music is one of the platform too so you can use any video you want and you can listen any song for example i'm let's listening to this song is it good or not no, i don't like it let me see this one uh, so many youtubers use this kind of music but you can just and you just need to go from your test because you need to like your video because if you don't like nobody will li like it in future so what i'm going to do is just drag and drop it here and just drag and drop it here so first what we need to do is before editing any video we have to find the piece of any video for example you can see there this at this point we have some high frequency audio at this point we have some low frequency video and at this point again we have high frequency video what it what does it mean the, at this point where we have low frequency video we need to put some slow motion video where we uh, we are we have to put some emotions okay so i'm going to create a bin bin is called folder where i'm going to drag and drop any every other video so i have a, here video of andrew do because i work with him so that i have divided in high high and high uh, so and high 
uh because i'm working with him because i have separated all the videos and whenever you shoot you have to make and uh, rename every high file where you're working out very high or at high in intensity so you need to um, rename all the clip as high so i'm going to drag it it from uh, there to here uh, just look at this this is going to look amazing just i'm not giving any effect right now because I just want to show it. Oh, uh, this is same click I think. This is different. Look, this is looking amazing I think. Even I have also some videos. So if you want to get this, so even if you want to edit this video, so uh, so guys, even I do have my own videos. If you, you think that if you want to edit your own videos, because everyone has his own video, because so guys, for example, I am going to use my video instead of end video so i am going to select my clip because i have also uh, work out a lot of time so just look at this i am going to put it in slow okay this is my clip and i am going to drag it over, over here i am going to mute my own audio now there is no video there is, that is why there is no sound i need to put something cinematic here so i am not going to use this clip uh, just f let me find those clip Yes, I have recorded this in rain. It was so funny, really. Uh, I'm going to use this clip. This one. You have to enable this one, V1, because sometimes it happens that this this automated disclose. Look at this now. Just look at this. This is looking so cinematic, man. Okay, one thing more, just whenever any beat come, you have to replace your clip with another one. For example, I am just going to replace it now from this clip. Uh, just look at this. Now next clip, uh, just let me find, this one would work well. Uh, just look at this. Uh, now look, look at this thing. This is going to look awesome, man. Uh, and now look at this. When high beat come, then we have to put some amazing clips where we are going to work out very at high intensity i have re recorded some of videos uh, i'm going to replace that all android clips from my own clip so look at this i have not recorded at so many cinematic ways so you can just look at my clips uh, look at this oh my god I'm not doing it at very high intensity, that's why I'm not looking good that much. But I, I just let me give you this is for example, man. Uh, just look at this. Just look at this. And the last step, what we have to do is you need to apply some video effect filter, and that is called Lumetric present in Premiere Pro because they already have some pre-built, and you have to apply some of from you on. So you just have to go off if on effect control, and just you have to choose something from here. It is called Toolstripe Browse, and you can just use your own uh, effect filter. So just look at this, and I'm going to what I'm going to do: copy. 
and just paste it to here paste attribute and the metric color filter so this is going to apply all the filter to every clip of my effect which i'm going to use it here now look at this clip so guys i'm going to teach uh, by the way i'm going to teach you a lot of effect because i use it a lot and you are going to know how i use it This is looking awesome, I think. So guys, this is called bonus. I'm going to give you a bonus tip because I do have an uh, th you have seen some of effect on the internet that they have blinking a lot of blinking so you can just download black bars so if you want to make your video look more cinematic so then you are going to need this you can just download this thing from internet and what you can do is just drag and drop it here and just extend it for long period of time and so what is going to do just do this uh, to frame size and just make it with wide and just look at this this is looking a lot more cinematic than before just look at the difference just look at the difference this is looking more cinematic just look at this this is looking way more cinematic than it was looking before so this was complimentary for you and guys we are going to meet uh, so guys we are going to meet in next video so till that you can just subscribe to our channel which is called fit which is called pro alpha fit thank you for watching our video and we are going to meet in next video